Hello! Don't go without speaking to me. What's your name? Georgia. Georgia. What's your name? Charles. Where are you from? Durham. Durham, you're a long way away, aren't you? You went here on holiday. Do you want a little one? Correct me. What do you want? A swimming pool? A swimming pool? A real one in the garden? Well, I was having a holiday um, out in the sun and I got a mobile phone call from Harrods and they said, please come and open our Christmas department. So how could I refuse such a lovely offer? So I came over from Kenya, cut short my holiday, and I brought uh, the zebra with me as well, because we bonded out there. It's true to say that there's hundreds of thousands of people in London from all over the world at this time of the year. And it's mainly the uh, tourist market who were uh, um, catering for during August and September. And then come October, the domestic market really starts kicking in and you'll see a lot more people in here from the rest of the UK. It's taken away the fun of Christmas and it's making it more commercialised. It's a shame because I think that really the, the novelty factor of going to the Christmas thing at Harrods is actually really important to have at Christmas because people do get in the spirit then and um, so to have it in the middle of the summer it just kind of, just for me, defeats the point a little bit. From a consumer point of view, obviously, it's a bit of a nightmare. You've got the sweltering August heat, you're going into stores, and then you've got Christmas jingles and all of the kitsch up on the shelves. And, but from a company point of view, Christmas is the most important time of the year. Harrods make most of their profits during December and January. So they're trying to bring Christmas early as, for, as much as possible, bring customers into the stores, get them making those big ticket purchases. Let it snow. 